Chapter 28, The Islamic Empires, Comparison Video, John Amoris, Period 2, Era Number 4, 1400 to 1850 CE, Civilization and had revitalized their thoughts and philosophical ideals, causing the church to lose power over the empires. And the Americas has been discovered by European societies, creating a global trade market leading to massive population growth from the fusion of crops. Thesis. In 1280 to 1700 CE, in Europe and Asia, different Islamic groups had appeared. The Ottoman and Safavids had different religious beliefs. They were also both economically dependent on agriculture, and they were all politically created through military conquest. Religion. Religion. The Ottoman Empire was filled with dominantly Islamic people of Sunni, while in the Safavids, they worshipped the Sufi's version of Islam with a 12 -er schism. The Ottoman dynasty creator, Osman, and his followers sought to become Ghazi, Muslim religious warriors. Also, they are more related to the famed Sunni and spread their faith. This showed the professed faith of the Ottoman towards the Sunni Islam because they wished to be Ghazi. They had fought for people to convert to traditional Islam when they conquered other areas through military expedition. The Safavids were Sufis and they believed there had been 12 infallible Imams, and they believed that the 12 Imam is in hiding. The supporters of this type of Islam were Kizabesh. This was a special type of Islam that was found in the Safavid dynasty compared to the Ottoman. Imams are the religious leaders after Muhammad. In the religion of the Ottoman, they believed that Muhammad was the last major religious leader. Also, the Safavids wore red hats to profess their faith, while the Ottomans don't. Part Persians Economic Second of all, the Safavid and Ottoman depended on agriculture and trade for their economy. Mostly, the Islamic empires relied on crops of wheat and rice that had flourished for centuries in the lands they ruled. Both empires were behind technologically, meaning that they were heavily relied on agricultural trade and the economy. Since the area they had conquered and occupied are dominantly agricultural societies, they were able to use their crops for trade. Also, they had abundance of crops available for trade to other empires. The Ottoman and Safavids extracted surplus agricultural production to finance their armies and bureaucracies as well. This is a prime example of how the two empires were economically dependent on agriculture because it was what fueled the army's finances during the time of expansion for them. The two empires heavily depended on agriculture of the societies they had conquered to help pay for the war debt, but it also allowed them to keep expanding more. Persian Political Finally, both the Ottoman and Safavids were politically created through military conquest and expansion. Ottoman warriors settled in frontier districts and pushed their boundaries forward, taking spoils and gathered revenue that supported the central government. This shows how the Ottoman were politically created through the military conquest and expansion, because this is how the Ottomans was able to support their central government. Through constant expansion and raiding cities for their spoils, it allowed them to make an infrastructure for the government. In the Safavid dynasty, Shah Abbas the Great had reformed the military, allowing him to win a series of wars bringing in northwestern Iran, Kajkaz, and Mesopotamia under their rule. This also supported that the Safavid dynasty, like the Ottoman, was able to create their empire through military conquest. They had focused on reforming their military because they had recently came from a harsh battle against the Ottomans in the Battle of Chaldra. Thus, they had strengthened their military, making the Safavids a powerful empire. Synthesis In the same era, both Portugal and Ottoman Empire had a very strong navy. Portugal led the way to oceanic sea trade, helped jumpstarting the global trade market and colonialism in the Americas. In the Ottoman Empire, they had obtained a great navy with the help of the Egyptian fleet and Solomon the Magnificent.